Welcome to Dr. Brownfield's Elite Athletics. I am Dr. Brownfield. In this short video, we want to talk about shoulder pain. How to relieve your shoulder pain in one minute. So, the only thing that you need are arm right, arm left, and then a pole. I just happen to have a PVC, but if you have a broom at home or any type of long stick, then that's what you're gonna need. So the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna try to back up a little bit. And we wanna place our arms as far as apart as we can. And we wanna start right back here. I'm a little technically challenged, but as you see, the pole is rested here uh, in my waist. So the first move to this is we wanna raise our arm up, nice and slow, overhead, now, I'm going to go to the end of the stick because where we need to go is backwards like, oh, like that. All right. So that is the second part of the stretch. Now, the last part is to come back. Now, you notice when I come back, I am not bending my elbows and trying to relieve the stretch that the pole is causing with the arm. So again, why now, if, if, if this is too easy, you can just go up and back, then you need to slide your hands into a little bit to where it's challenging for you because I'm a bigger, wider guy. It's a little bit difficult for me to do it with the narrow end. So hands, so again, starting position here, nice and slow. Now, as you get to the top, you'll start to feel your pec major, upper trap and everything stretch as you come down behind. And then nice and straight. Again, we want to focus on keeping the elbows straight and bringing it back forward. That's exercise number one. Exercise number two starts like this. Arm ab above the head. We're going to stretch the left side. So I'm going to bend the right elbow, keep the left straight, and I'm going to stretch, pulling it all the way down and the constant pull. Bring it back up. I'm going to stretch this side now, so I'm going to bend the left elbow and pull all the way down. Okay, so that's it in a nutshell. So remember, if it's too tight, you want to slide your hands out a little bit more to give you a little bit more room. If it's too easy, slide your hands in. For the first time, it may take you a second or two to uh, find your particular zone where you um, where your hands should go. You may even want to consider marking it or taping the stick so that you can go back to it. But I anticipate after about three or four times, your hands should be ex extending out further as you get more flexible, as the range of motion increases and all of that good stuff. So again, I'm Dr. Brumfield. I hope this, these, uh, this quick one minute stretch exercise helps you out. And hey, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.